Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, we were able to uh, essentially take Cypher out of the ONBS building in uh, Pyrite Town. But it seems like they've got an alternative plan to go to Fanuc City. So that's our next stop. Let's go do this. Let's go and try and route them, shall we? In, uh, yeah, in good old uh, Fanuc City. Actually, what did it say there? No, just a little bit. I'll find out in a minute. Ah, Fanuc City. Um, uh, not sure about the music here. Very awkward. Welcome to Fanuc, and hooray! Congratulations! Incredible as it may seem, you're exactly the one millionth visitor to Fanuc. In commemoration, please accept this a disc, t a disc case. Which already comes with some battle CDs. Okay, I obtained the disc case. Okay. And battle CD 01. And battle CD 07. And battle CD 20. Okay. Okay, you should take that to the Relgam Tower next in the town. Next to the town. Go, go, go! Really? I, c I can't go in? Relgam Tower is a short ways away from the northwest. You'll see it right away. Okay, can I... Can I... Can I... Go into Fanuc? That'd be great. The Real Gam Tower is a top battling facility where trainers can enjoy battle simulations, among other events, using battle CDs. Off you go, have a good time. Oh wow, I literally just cannot enter Fanuc City. Uh, a gorgeous oasis-like city that is created, but that is targeted by Cypher. I really can't go into Fanuc City as of yet. I've got to go to the real Gam Tower first. An intense members-only tower that is jam-packed with entertainment. Okay. Fine. Game preventing me from going to Fanuc. Fair enough. Ah, the real Gam Tower. It's changed a little bit from what I can see. Oh, it's trudely and folly again. What is it with these, ba these battle CD things? Pokemon appear alright, but when the battle ends, they just fade away. You don't get to keep them? Ah, oh, sheesh. I've dropped all my secret savings into them because I thought I'd get rare Pokemon for real. There goes money down the proverbial drain. Let's get out of here. What do we do with these battle CD things? What good are they if they won't give us any Pokemon? Just toss them out somewhere. Great, let me guess. I'm going to have to go on a quest to try and get them all now, aren't I? Try and find them. Ah, protein! That is a nice item to get. I'm certainly saying that much. Protein raises the base attack stat of one Pokemon. I'm going to be using that immediately on Grass Joe. There you go. Since Grass Joe is one of our physical attackers, might as well. Is there anything else around here? We've got a lovely uh, Pseudo Wudo statue here. And another Pseudo Wudo statue. Okay. Alright, well. Let's have a look in the real Gam Tower, shall we? Let's have a look and see what we can get. Okay, still got the old, uh, I guess, railway system platform thing. Ooh, another item. Ooh, Carbos! That's quite handy as well. That's more defensive. Oh, no, it's speed. Raises the base speed stat of one Pokemon. Okay, who's the fastest one I've got here? Probably Chancellor. Yeah, let's give it to Chancellor. Let's raise Chancellor's speed while we've got the chance. Okay, well, let's get moving then. See what this place has got to offer for us. Because we can't go to Bleeding for Nuck. Of course we can't. Ah, looks like some sort of shop here. Yes, it is. Ooh, they sell TMs here for money! And you get revives and hyper potions. That's not bad at all, actually. Okay. There's a fair few TMs here. Powerful fire attack that may burn the target. That's fire blast, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So what we got? We got fire blast. So I'm guessing this is where you get the really powerful ones that are slightly inaccurate. Okay, so you get fire blast. Uh, that's lights. No, that's reflect. Sorry. Reflect. That's probably thunder. Yep. Um, safeguard. Yep. Okay. Uh, negates all damage, but may fail if used in succession. That's, that's got to be protect. Yep. Okay. Uh, create a wall of light that lowers special attack damage. That is light screen. Yep. Powerful, but needs to recharge in the next turn. That's got to be hyper beam. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. 
A vicious snow and wind attack that may freeze the foe. That's Blizzard. I'm actually going to buy a Blizzard for the time being. Probably give that to Callie. Uh, attack power varies among different Pokemon. That's secret power? Hidden power, sorry. There you go. Okay, there's some okay stuff here, I guess. But, uh, you know, not really incredibly useful at the moment. I said Thunder might be useful if I can get a Pokemon with Rain Dance. And that could be incredibly useful. Oh, yeah. HP up. I forgot to use that. That's good on Callie. Because Callie is m the bulkiest Pokemon I've got so far. Yeah, let's, 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 let's get Blizzard going. Okay, Callie. Yep, you can, you can learn Blizzard. And we'll get rid of... Finally, we'll get rid of Sand Attack. Okay. That's kind of my ace in the hole, I guess, will be Blizzard. It's a very powerful Ice-type attack. I believe it's the most powerful Ice-type attack in the game at this point. Bar, I guess, Sheer Coals, which one-shots, but... You know. Non-one-shotting, Blizzard's the best uh, Ice move in the game, I think. I'm also going to see uh, who can learn Brick Break here. Grass Joe can. Sean can. Yeah, Grass Joe's got to have it. Let's see what we can get rid of with Grass Joe. Ooh, I kind of like all of these. I mean, I really want to keep False Swipe. I want to keep Mega Drain. I mean, Brick Break is 75 power, which is bloody good. Jot, I'm going to get rid of Headbutt. Headbutt's great, don't get me wrong, but Brick Break is just better for Grass Joe. There you go. And we've got Bullet Seed. Oh, do I really want to be using Bullet Seed? Nope. Not after earlier. Certainly do not. All right, well, there's some, there's some decent stuff in there. Fair enough. Let's see what's over on the other side. What have we got here? Okay, we just got some healing, have we? Okay. Fair enough. Alright, we'll go to the front then and see what we've got there. See what we can find. Okay, let's go through and do this and see what we can get. Yeah, they've gotten rid of a lot of the corridors in Rillagam Tower. That's not bad, I guess. Ooh, item, item, yes. Ultra Ball! Nice, that's our first one! So far, not too bad. Okay. Hello, welcome to Real Gam Tower. Unfortunately, I must inform you that the Colosseum is undergoing maintenance. Please do come back and make a challenge when we reopen. Okay. So the Colosseum's not open at this time. Fair enough, let's go in here and see what we can get. Hello. Welcome to Battle Bingo. How may I serve you today? What's Battle Bingo? Battle Bingo is a strategy game that is played on a bingo card with 16 panels, arranged in a 4x4 grid. The 16 panels are turned over and exposed one by one. Flip over panels to form a vertical, horizontal, or diagonal line to score a bingo. Keep forming bingo lines until all panels are flipped over or you run out of moves. If all panels are flipped over, 10 bingo lines will be completed and you win the game. Okay. Let's give this a go, shall we? Why not? If you wish to play, that'll be 500 Poké Dollars. Yeah, that's fine. I got the money for that. Thank you. These cards are available for play right now. Okay, so we've got Dragonair and Nidorino and a Lotad. Yeah. I've always liked Nidorino and the sort of line there. Yeah, we'll use this. Three Pokémon types are featured. It's a novice three type card. Yeah, we'll do that. I'll play this bingo card. Okay, so... Here's how this works. So, we have Nidorino here. Uh, we have slots to get extra Pokemon for this. You don't keep the Pokemon, by the way. Um, but we can kick off with any of these panels uh, to kick off. I believe you only get one move per Pokemon. And the move is spread along all of those types. Like, for example, Poison will get Sludge Bomb. All Poison-type Pokemon here also have Sludge Bomb. So, there you go. Grass type Pokemon will not have Sludge Bomb, they'll have something different. Ground types will also have something different as well. Uh, I believe Grass types have Mega Drain, in this one at least, because I've already done this one. Uh, and Ground types have Earthquake. Uh, and these question mark ones uh, give us essentially extra EP or extra slots. So at the moment we have four slots, but two of them have Master Balls on them. That means that we actually have balls to catch Pokemon on those. So, at the moment we can catch two Pokemon, but we can get a maximum of three if we can find another Master Ball. Okay, so let's kick off with... Hmm. Let's kick off here. Should I kick off here, actually? Ooh. Yeah, let's kick off here. 
I'll enter Nidorino in for this contest. So you lose one EP for each of these that you lose. Also, we got Chikorita. Probably would have a better, probably would have wanted a better uh, grass type, but no, that is fine. I will use a Master Ball to uh, to catch this one. My one of two so far. But it's good to have variety. The variety you need here is just getting, obviously, just better Pokemon. So now we have a Chikorita. Gotcha. The Chikorita was caught. Chikorita also has two EP. The EP is essentially your movement. You want to try and have as much EP as possible. You use one every time you go on one of these cards. Right, so let us go under the question mark one with... Yeah, with Nidorino. Okay, enter Nidorino for this one. And we get another Master Ball. Nice. So that's all the Master Balls that, that we need so far. That's pretty good. Okay, so I've got to be wary here. I mean, I've got, I'm catching a ground type with Chikorita. Why not? Let's see what this one's going to be. Ooh, Onyx. It's not a bad shout at all, that. Yeah, I'm catching that. I'm catching that. Onyx isn't bad at this point. I mean, you can get Pokemon that are just like first uh, form Pokemon. Onyx, even though it does evolve and is technically a first form Pokemon, was okay, I guess. Anyway, we now have Onyx. Brilliant. Okay, next panel. Uh, okay, let's let's make a line. Let's make a line. Use Onyx on this poison type. Enter Onyx. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. It's a Gulpin. Okay, go Onyx! Smack his face in! Good thing about Onyx is Onyx is very fast. Yeah, so uh, Onyx has the ground type move, Earthquake, which is bloody awesome. Onyx is pretty fast, actually, as well, so that's all good here. And, oh, Gulpin survived, okay. Yeah, Onyx, not very good when it comes to attacking, but it's fast. You know, and it, it's, it's kind of bulky. But pretty much you've got to try and use the type advantage here. And for, obviously for every Pokemon you catch, you get 2 EP for it. Uh, because essentially they get 2 EP, it's a new Pokemon. Uh, but also, as we will see here, after we beat the Gulpin, because I don't want a Gulpin at the moment. We've got a line! Bingo! Making one Bingo line earns you 1 EP. And we can put that on any Pokemon that we want. Nidorino doesn't have one right now, so I'm going to put one on Nidorino. There you go! Okay, let's go. Let's go down here, and I want to use. I want to use Onyxes. Let's see what we get here. One EP. Okay, that's nice. That's nice to see. And I'll put it back onto Onyx. Right now, let's go down here. Use Onyx again because I want to get that last one over there. It's a Grimer. Okay. Well, Onyx can beat that pretty easily. Let's go for an Earthquake. Need to catch my last Pokemon here, because I'm kind of running low on EP. It gets easier later on, because then you're just getting loads of lines um, for this. So that obviously works really well. Anyway, Grimer grew tired and fled. That is fine. Also, you can't... Um, unless you have a connection. For example, that, um, that ground, second from the right, we can't actually get at the moment. See, we can't get it right now. Um, okay, so let us get this with Chikorita. 2 EP! Very nice! I'll give one to Chikorita and one to Onyx. Okay, let's. Uh, we've got a lot of grass types here, so let's try and get some poison types. Uh, I'll pick. I'll pick Nidorina for this one, actually. Ooh, Surviper! That is one that I would like to get. I think Surviper's better than Nidorino, so, yep, yeah, that's fine. I'll catch this Surviper. Brilliant. Brilliant! And we caught Surviper. That's our last Master Ball we've used on that one, so that's, that, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. And we have another line! Brilliant! And we have gotten one EP, which I'm going to use on Chikorita. Why not? Okay, and I guess I'll use Onyx to take out the last Poison one. So we don't need to use Onyx anymore. It's Ekans. Okay. But yeah, as you can see, the more lines we get, uh, the more, essentially, this uh, game works on Poker Coupons as well. So you could trade them in for Mount Battle. Not bad. Not bad at all. If you fancy wasting a little bit of time 
You know, that Ekans just got absolutely destroyed by Earthquake. But that's all the poison types out of the way. So Onyx we don't need to use anymore. It's Chikorita and Surviper that we're going to be using. Okay, next. So now we can go to any of these areas, which is quite nice. Uh, I feel like... Okay, let's ground. Let's go for Chikorita and see what we, see what we can find. It's Fampy! Okay. Go on, Chikorita. So, Grass-type Pokemon have Giga Drain. It's a nice move. You know, it does decent damage and restores your health, so that's not bad. Also, Chikorita is not too bad when it comes to speed. And he's going to go for the Earthquake here. Chikorita resists that. So that's good. If I get critted here, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. It's not going to be very nice. Right. Let's go for the Giga Drain. Take out Fampy. Nice. That's, uh... Yeah, that's another, that's another one done. Not too shabby. Right there. Fampy grew tired and fled. Of course it bloody did. Right. Now there's a, another ground one here. Which I am going to use Chikorita to try and get. We only need one more EP for Chikorita. And then Chikorita's done. And then we can just use Survivor to destroy the rest. Because they're all going to be grass types. And weak to Sludge Bomb. Okay. Giga Drain. Let's do this. Nice. One shot the Sandshrew. Nice job Chikorita there. Sandshrew has fainted. Flapping like a bird and falls down. Of course it does. Okay. And that gets us another EP, which I'm probably going to use on Chikorita. Just to get the last ground type out of the way. There you go. I don't think there's any area now that... Oh, Golem. Okay. That would have been a nice one to get, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would have been a nice one. Oh, God. It's... Yeah, it's faster. Okay. This could be a problem for Chikorita. Nope! Chicory is fine. Chicory is fine. Man, Golem's faster. I expect that. Well, that's that's one shot on Golem. That's fine. Golem Golem is four times weak to uh, grass anyway, so that works well for me. Alright, very nice. Grown <laughs> Golem buggered off. Just grew tired. Bug it off. Alright, Golem fled. Right, now we've just got four to go. Let's just go from right to left here. Let's go slightly Arabic on this one. Okay, who's next? Sunken! <laughs> Prepare to be destroyed, Sunken. But literally now I can just do this in one hand, so I'm just going to open up uh, my drink here, which is Ribena Sparkling Black Currant. Seriously, they just added bubbles to Ribena and resold it. That's literally all they did, and it's not really the best. Yeah, that's not the best at all. Ugh. Also, it's Ribena, and Ribena is uh, very sugary. Very sugary. You know, I'll just pop that away for the time being. Sunken fled! And we got another line! Which will obviously give to Surviper. Surviper just needs one more one more uh, EP and we're done. So that's all good. Who's next? Trico! Okay. Prepare to get poison attacked. A bunch! Oh, Giga Drain. It's actually... Fa it's faster than Surviper? Okay. That is fine by me. You can barely do any damage to Survivor. Yeah, so we pretty much got this one now. You know, unless we make stupid mistakes, which we're not going to. I don't really plan on that. So I'll just get this, and this should get us the last EP we need. Which would be very nice. There you go, we've got five lines so far. Two more to go, and we got all the EP we need for it. Let's do this one now. That'll also get us our di diagonal line. Right, Tangler! That probably is the best grass option, I think. So, well, at least at this point, it's the, it's the best grass option is Tangler. Right now, not too bad at all. So you probably really want Surviper, Golem, and Tangler. Oh, it's actually not got Giga Drain either. It's got Mega Drain. Okay, well, that, that's not going to help you too much. Let's be honest, Tangler. It's not going to help you too much at all. Here comes Sludge Bomb. Boom. All right, that's gonna get us. That's gonna get us two EP. Not only two EP, but also two lines because we will get that uh, horizontal line and the diagonal line. There you go. And we've got two EP, which we're gonna give to Surviper, obviously. 
And the last one. So Viper just needs to finish this one off. And we win. And it's a C dot. Oh, poor C dot. Go, Sir Viper. Destroy him with a sludge bomb. Yeah, all the Pokemon here are level 30. So, there is that. You just gotta use type advantages, pretty much. Nice. C dot grew tired and fled. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And that's another three, and that's the last one. We've cleared it. Congratulations, you flipped every panel. Indeed, we have. Congratulations, you've completed the three type card. Let's see, you have 10 complete bingo lines. We'll add up the remaining EP and Master Balls, if any, and you've earned 250 Poke Coupons. Yay! Also, you've completed the three type card for the first time. Please accept this reward. Ah, two ethers, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So, yeah, that's the bingo area. It's not bad um, if you want to just while away your time there. Uh, you do get items for completing the first time round, so it's, it's alright, I guess. It's alright. And then we got this area as well. Welcome! You may experience battle sims here using battle CDs. Unfortunately, Thieves made off with a huge haul recently, so we only have a small selection of battle CDs available right now. What's more, two customers just came in and bought up most of what we had left. Oh, but if you have battle CDs of your own, you certainly may use them for battle sims. Please do let me know if you have a battle CD that you'd like to play. So how may I serve you today? You can type battle system, uh, battle sims using battle CDs here. Would you like to give it a try? Yes, I would. Let's do 001. Flying versus flying. Predict the opponent's moves to win. Difficulty 1. We also have Machamp's Macho Romp. The stronger the foe, the hotter it gets. Difficulty of two and difficulty of three. Let's slip the Houndoom. Time for a quick change artist. Okay. Well, we'll do we'll do the first one just to show off. I'm not going to be doing all of them because that'll take too long. Let's um because there are 50 of them all together. Right. So we're against a Tropius. Well, that's pretty bleeding obvious. I'm guessing that um we are going to have some sort of flying move. Also, this bleeding cutscene takes too long. There you go, we're in. And that Sim Trainer is in. Poplet. And then it... I mean, it looks nice, don't get me wrong, but, you know... Takes up too much time, damn it. Right. Tropius. The grass and flying type weird dinosaur with bananas for beards. And I have a Pidgeot. Well, out of all these, the best move to use is Gust, right? Just because it's super effective. So, screw you! Damage! Alright. Not too bad. Oh, I see it. Alright, alright, game, alright. Uh, yeah, just Gust him again and we win. Gust can hit uh, opponents when they're flying and does double damage, I believe. So, uh, go sod yourself. Alright, that was that that was kinda simple. That it, it was the first one, so you know. We had defeated the simulation trainer, Poplet. Even though he's a simulation, he still spins around and falls because that's how it works. Very nice. A two turn limit single battle. Win the battle to clear. Which we did! And we've cleared that one. Brilliant. Congratulations, you've cleared that battle CD. A wonderful battle too. To commemorate your clearing Battle CD 01 for the first time, please accept this Super Potion. That ain't not bad. Super Potions are always nice to get. I mean, okay, not amazingly well, because they're bleeding Super Potions, but still. Alright, well I think that's enough of Rilgam Tower for a bit. I think I think we're done here for the moment, obviously until... Until you bring back the bloody Colosseums! Yeah, this is a nice-ish place to while away your time, I guess, if you want. It's nice, but I won't be, uh, won't be using it incredibly much, let's say. Alright, guys, well, I'm gonna go for a break here, but in the next episode, let's play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. I'm guessing we'll be allowed back in for Narc. Hopefully. Anyway, I'll see you then.